Hi, welcome back. In the previous module we learned how to manipulate text and binary file content by loading the content into memory, performing some processing and then writing out to a new file. In this module we're going to learn how we can instead read and write data incrementally using streams. This means that we don't have to load the entire file into memory to be able to process it. So we're going to kick off this module by getting a high level introduction to what streams are and how they work. And we'll also look at some of the potential benefits of using streams over loading the entire file into memory. We'll learn about the .NET classes involved in stream manipulation. And then we'll head over to Visual Studio and learn how to read and write text data using streams. We'll also learn how we can selectively process part of a text stream. And then we'll also learn how we can use streams to read and write binary data. When we're working with binary data, we can also make use of a couple of classes, the binary reader and binary writer classes, so we'll learn about both of these. In the previous module we learned about text encodings, and in this module we'll learn how we can specify encodings when working with streams. We'll learn how to append data to existing files using streams, how to perform random file access when using a file stream, and finally, how to make use of in-memory streams. So let's kick off this module by getting a high level introduction to streams. 